Hey Cal students, we're back for a new semester of Cal TV Entertainment. And here we're starting off our semester at Cal Performances Fall Free For All, the fall event with free performances all over campus. I'm here with Debbie Alves and we're going to go check it out. So, Cal Performance is called Free For All 2013 is our fourth one. And how did you get the idea for that? So, we wanted to do a sort of wide open embrace to the whole Bay Area, to really show the Bay Area what Cal Performance does, the beauty of the live, live performing arts, to bring artists both from around the world and from the Bay Area because the talent, the depth of talent in the Bay Area is just extraordinary. So we wanted to showcase that, we wanted to showcase our season and we really wanted to give uh, people who knew us well a day of free performances and a chance for people who didn't know us to get to know us. Hey guys, I'm here with Ted and Nathan. Um, Ted is the director of the UC Jazz Ensemble here on UC Berkeley's campus. Um, could you just tell me a little bit about your group, um, the dynamic of it, and how you guys got started? Sure, well this is actually the first performance of this band. This is a student faculty ensemble and actually one of the first times we've done it. But we have Nathan Bickert here on piano and he really deserved a shot. He's been making such amazing progress as a, as a musician that I wanted to bring in the great bassist Kai Eckhart to play today so we could put this band together just especially for Cal performances. And what got you both into music and jazz specifically? Um, <laughs> you're a pianist, is yeah, that correct? Yeah, I play the piano and um, I like started out playing classical music and uh, kind of just got a classical background and training and then uh, in high school, my, my parents kind of encouraged me to play in the jazz band just because I kind of liked it. I li liked playing like the little bits of jazz that I'd played and like throughout my kind of like classical training. And are you guys going to come back next year and perform as well? Should we expect to see you? That's all up to Cal Performances. They put it <laughs> together every year and it's usually somebody different every year. So, uh, but if not here somewhere, we'll keep it going. I'm here with Daniel Harash, the Shadow Puppeteer of this afternoon. So tell us a little bit about how you got into Shadow Puppets. Well, uh, I've always been interested in the intersection between theater and education. I have a background in education, a master's degree from NYU, and I happened to see a theater production um, which used Shadow Puppetry for one of the scenes, and I found it so fascinating and sort of harkening back to sitting around a campfire you know, from yeah. thousands of years ago that I started to incorporate it into my work. And very soon after I started, I realized how effective a uh, medium it was for reaching all kinds of learning styles. So I just uh, incorporated it more and more until this is all I do. So yes. if you don't mind, maybe showing us kind of your the puppets you use today. Sure. How they work a little. This is one of the puppets, uh, <laughs> one of the more complex ones. It has moving parts. So basically, there's three different parts to the the puppet, and it's jointed and it's uh, it's basically put together using brads. Mm -hmm. And then if you put the two um, sticks on and you move two of them it looks like the whole puppet is moving. Hey guys, so we had a great time this year at Cal Performance's fourth annual Fall Free For All. We got to meet a lot of really cool people, see a lot of really cool performances. Make sure to come check it out next year. For Cal TV Entertainment, this has been Madeline and Davio. Stay tuned for our next episode.